Hello, and welcome to this week's Deck Tech. I'm your host, Nick Papadopoulos, and today we'll be looking at one of my personal favorites, Horde of Notions. Horde of Notions casting cost is a white, a blue, a black, a red, and a green. It is rocking Vigilance, Trample, and Haste on a 5-5 body. His last ability, though, is what makes the card so interesting. For a white, a black, a blue, a red, and a green, you can at instant speed bring an elemental from your graveyard to the battlefield. So not only do we have a commander that when he hits the board is going to swing in for five, it can defend off the same turn. On the next turn, we're able to start bringing in the fun stuff from our graveyard. Let's talk about the direction that we want to bring this deck in. Now the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that his ability only impacts elementals. A lot of folks will be drawn into tribal style decks and well, for the most part at his core is tribal theme. The toolbox of elementals I use are cards like Shriekmaw, Revelark, Fulamentor Mage, Night Incarnate, Bane of Progress, Bloodwater Entity, I mean the list just goes on. There are so many fun elementals that can be used to interact at instant speed. Now, the issue is getting these cards into your graveyard. Luckily being a five color deck, this shouldn't be too big of an issue. I'm a big fan of going all in and I run Hermitrude and Mirror Mad Phantasm. There have been so many fun games where I almost mill out my entire deck, but unlock so many fun combos because of it. I run other support cards for getting cards into the bin that act as a versatility option. Cards like Greater Good or Wolf of Devil's Breach. Greater Good, you're going to be sacrificing a creature, drawing cards based on the power of the creature, then discarding three cards. You can draw huge amounts of cards off of a Greater Good by pairing Bane of Progress. Cast Bane of Progress to get rid of all those nasty enchantments and artifacts you don't want on the board, then grab all the draw. We also run tutor cards that help us put in Turpin, such as Entome, Fuana Shaman, Survival of the Fittest, and Birthing Pod. We can also run Prime Speaker Vanifar, though I find her a little slow for this deck. If you want to play a bit safer when it comes to putting cards in your graveyard, you can always run Wheel Cards. Wheel of Fortune, Windfall, and Reforge the Soul are all great cards. Heck, you can even run Traumatize. So now that we have our ways of building up our graveyard, what is it that we're looking to achieve with this deck? What is our goal and how do we win? Let's talk about our goal. We're not just an elemental tribal deck. So how do we get our other cards out of the graveyard? I run a resurrection package to help me get through the game in case my plans do not go so well. Cards like Reanimate, Dance of the Dead, Necromancy, Victimize, Animate Dead, they're all there to support in case my commander cannot come to the battlefield. I also run Carador the Ghost Chieftain, Shell the Red the Whispering One, and Muldratha the Gravetide. Muldratha is especially good for this deck since she's an elemental. Our goal is here to set up the Graveyard Recursion and take out our threats until we hit our win con. We rock a couple different ways to win with this deck. We have a lot of heavy hitters such as Lord of Extinction. I had one game where I was facing a mill player and Lord of Extinction hit up towards 175 power and toughness. It was instantly removed, but the powerhouse on this card is so much fun for this deck. Not only do we run that big hitter, but we run a lot of other big hitters. Cards like Tyrant of Discord, Billful Force, Magmatic Force, Dread, and Cloud Thresher. The fun way we win with this deck, well, maybe not for your opponents, is using Rite of Replication, Kicked and targeting Magmatic Force. Having 6 7 7 bodies that on each upkeep deal 3 damage to any target, totaling up to 18 damage is insane. The easiest way to win with this deck is using Hermit Druid or Mirror Mad Phantasm. Put almost all cards in your graveyard, follow up with Splendid Reclamation, and get all those lands and put them into play. On average, I pull about 12 to 18 lands from my graveyard into the battlefield. But there's times where I get even 30 lands into play. Finish the game with Perforos, God of the Forge, and everyone's favorite, Avenger of Zendikar. At this point, you should have 20 lands in play, and each of those lovely little plant tokens are going to hit up for 2 damage each. That's over 40 damage and usually wins the game. Now we know how the deck wins. 
let's talk about pros and cons. Pros, having access to five colors allows us to have all of the best cards. We can have the best draw cards, best removal, best interactions, just all the best. Utility, utility, utility. We have so much resources in our toolbox to deal with pesky cards. Politics, this is one of my favorite aspects of the deck. Since you can use Horde of Notions ability at instant speed, you can suggest plays to other players in order to buy yourself time to win. Now, let's talk about cons. Land base. It is so important to have a proper land base for this deck. You need to run a lot of multicolored lands. To combat this, we run quite a few mana dorks and chromatic lantern to fix our mana resources to what we need. The archetype itself. I find a lot of players really hate graveyard decks. If you take Hermit Druid or Mirror Mad Phantasm for a spin and dump everything in your graveyard, your opponents are going to focus you. Everything has to be played strategically and not overextend. Graveyard hate. If anyone XL cards from your graveyard or prevents you from using abilities in your graveyard, you might become a sitting duck. It's always good to not put all your tools in your toolbox allowing you to react after a card is played. Hope you enjoyed this week's deck tech. I'll be doing my best to get one out every week. If you have any particular decks you'd like to see built, play tested and reviewed, hit me up in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.